between September 23rd and September 25th, Moon will be crossing the Gandanta of Cancer, entering, entering the sign of Leo and will cross its journey through the Leo zodiac sign where Venus is placed in Uttara Falguni Nakshatra. Let's discuss more on that. Hello Seekers, welcome to Prince Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. Moon, which is the planet that controls the mind, will be in Leo. And when it is in Leo, it will form the Moon and Venus conjunction. Now this Moon and Venus conjunction is very important because of the Nakshatra Uttara Falguni. This is the time when you can build relations. People who are looking for marriage can find some positive activity happening in their life. Uh, if you have tensions uh, in your business, you can ease out your tension. Deals can be cracked. Uh, you can meet new friends. There can be a widening of the circle. In geopolitical situation, there can be some respite during this time. Also, you will have to observe how you are dealing with your neighbors. See, small relations will matter more during this time. Why? Because Venus is in Uttara Falguni in Leo and Sun and Mercury will be in Uttara Falguni Nakshatra in the sign of Virgo. Mercury is retrograde. So you may see that some long lost friendship which was lost because of ego will now come back or you may ne need their help. So it is always advised to, to build more relations and drop your ego. Also, Moon and Venus uh, in the sign of Leo is showing passionate love. So your passion towards art and creativity will increase. This is going to be highly effective for people who are into creative line of work. Any kind of creative line of work, uh, you will experience innovation, you will experience new ideas coming your way. Uh, you will experience that you are being more productive and the creativity level is going up. So you need to just, uh, just be more positive, speak positive, don't speak negative because if you, and also don't overcome it just because somebody is trying to overpower you. So if you get intimidated during this time, then you may have to regret later on. Now definitely this moon will experience Ketu third from itself and a, and a combust Mercury second, which means the power to speak will not be there. So when you are speaking, you have to speak the truth and if you can't speak the truth, maybe silence will be a better option. Obviously, it is case-to-case -case basis. But the best way to deal this moon transit is to be happy within yourself and find true happiness. Maybe plan a trip, go close to the nature, enjoy the comfort of your home or listen to some good music. Please your senses, look after you, look after your personality because you will love when you will radiate that happiness, that good positive personality, maybe buy some clothes, have a happy smile. Basically, it's a time of charm and happiness and positivity. It's like the springtime. So this moon and Venus is actually forming a very positive conjunction. But yes, on the other hand, because of the lack of communication or say misunderstanding, there can be heavy differences in marriage, there can be a sudden fight between married couples or, their, or partners. This moon can just fire your expectations. And when your expectations are not fulfilled or when you convey your expectations vocally and still nobody hears you, there is no acknowledgement, this can make you furious. Because Mars, which is in the sign of Taurus, 10th from the moon will be aspecting this moon and this is fueling the rage, fueling the anger. This can make you more possessive. So be very careful, especially those who are in a toxic relationship, who are facing a personality that you cannot deal with. So you will have to be very careful. Now, because this is the transit of love, this is the transit of emotions, this is the transit where you will experience the beauty you should appreciate the beauty of the nature, the creation of the God. Wake up before sunrise and just spend some quality time with yourself. Find what you love, what you like and start doing something about it. Doing for others and sacrificing is one part of the life that is okay. 
but ignoring yourself is a crime you should never ignore yourself it's the it's the time when you start appreciating your own actions if nobody is appreciating you pat your own back this is the time when you create value for yourself by yourself this is the time that you start appreciating your every move your every karma along with your acknowledgement of mistakes the acceptance of mistakes and then a asking god to give you a chance to move on and prove yourself right chanting durga mantra chanting mahalakshmi mantra is some of are some of the ways by which you can enhance the power of venus and moon conjunction also you will see that uh, you may overspend because of comparison so don't do that don't compare yourself with anybody during this time and you will be much happier use of social media should be done with caution especially when you are sharing something on social media you may get a backlash you may get bad comments so that may hurt you because you won't be able to say something in return because of the ketu and mercury and in fact if you speak you intended a simple sentence as you, you, you the intention was never to hurt but the timing will be so odd that even you wouldn't be able to do anything and that will actually hurt somebody and that can create a rift between relations and this is like the absolutely worst way to destroy a relation at a time which is there to build relations this is a good time to sign big contracts but obviously if your horoscope allows and also it's a good time to invest into a new business especially creator line creative line a line that is related to luxury interiors fashion perfumes beauty also if you observe that this is a time when there can be some international trips maybe a trip because of business a sudden unplanned trip now planned trip is obviously understandable but this can be like in the next 2 3 days you will hear a news which will force you to travel obviously for few horoscope it will be especially if you are a leo moon sign if you are a virgo moon sign if you are a cancer moon sign if you are a taurus moon sign this may give you an opportunity to travel and travel for career mars in the 10th house is giving great boost in command and this is giving you an opportunity to work in silence you know this is like work in silence let success make the noise that is the apt quote for this moon transit you should work in silence do your duty dig deep get the knowledge get the facts right and don't speak without facts jupiter in the 8th house will give you more occult knowledge so read bhagavad gita that will give you answers to your problems and saturn in the 6th house will constantly remind you of your duties so do your duty especially if you have a pet at your home be very careful about that help stray animals and birds feed them that will also give you a sense a sense of accomplishment and a sense of happiness remember at this time smaller accomplishments will bring you confidence and peace of mind than bigger achievements like when you wake up making your bed making a tea for tea or coffee for yourself grooming right feeling confident about yourself telling yourself that this is who you are and this is the best version of you right now and you are okay with that and th- there has to be a scope of improvement you are not hitting a ceiling but then if you're not appreciating yourself right now then how will you expect how do you expect the world to appreciate you that is the message of this moon transit in the sign of leo avoid ego based communication avoid binge eating procrastination will be your biggest enemy especially for students over indulgence into toxic elements like drinking and smoking can really hurt your health and can make you do something that you will regret later on smile and if you have any dental problem correct it this is also the time when you may have to find a very unique way to solve something and this is also the time when you might break off from a toxic relationship so you might also experience a breakup especially if you are running a venus antardasha pratyantar dasha along with rahu ketu or saturn in combination or it is in your chart 
You may also hear some truth about your life partner, about your loved ones that you may not like, but you may have to accept. Do not react by showing ego. Also, any kind of material show off should not be done because that may hurt other people. And uh, not that you should not enjoy your success, your wealth, you should do that. But then showing off and demeaning somebody else will bring bad luck and that will take away the Lakshmi's element from your life. Pray to Ma Mahalakshmi, chant Shri Suktam every day during this time and this will bring you good luck, peace and love. With this, I end this video. We'll meet you in the next video for consultations. Please drop me an email and please subscribe and like the video among and share it among family and friends. We'll meet in the next video. I appreciate your time. Thank you and Namaste.